Hey, yo, Kev, we're in the street is that coronavirus in Buffalo, bruh. You said what, bruh? The coronavirus in Buffalo? Hey, yeah, bruh, I seen it on the news. I don't care. I ain't getting sick, bruh. I'm not getting sick. Yeah, bruh, you ain't possible that I'm about to get sick, bruh. <laughs> Hey man, I'm about to get every piece of clothes that I can I can find to stop this virus, man. I don't know what you're talking about, bruh. Word, word. They said the only place with no cases of corona is in Africa, bruh. Yeah, bruh. It's only in Africa, man. I swear. Hey guys, what y'all talking about? Bruh, they said the coronavirus in Buffalo. The coronavirus in Buffalo? Oh, nah. If anybody need me, I'll be in Africa. I'll see y'all boys later. Alright YouTube, we back with another tutorial man. So first, you already know what we gotta do is prepare the hair before we start cutting it. Okay, next step is setting that first ball line, okay? Now, the way I'm setting this ball line is I'm starting at the end of the vertical bars a little bit under. So that way, my first guide line, when I take the bottom line out, there will no longer be a C cup, okay? That's the way I'm doing this mid fade. So, uh, yeah. Okay, what I'm doing now is going up a half an inch with the lever open. After that, we're going to come back down, close the lever, and take out the bottom line and adjust the lever as needed. Whatever y'all see in the blend that needs to be blended, um, just adjust the lever and take it out. Now I got the one guy open, going up another half inch. Now I'm about to slap on the zero guard and flick out the middle line. Now if it doesn't come out after you flick it a couple times, try starting below the line, go up slow and flick right at the line. Try that. That really helps me get the line out. Otherwise, just flick out the line, go slow and, cut and flick out. And then if that still doesn't come out, then just use the lever open and use your corners. Like I said before, if the zero guard does not take out the middle guide line all the way, go ahead in with your lever open and use your corner. That's what I'm doing. I'm using the corner of the blade even though it does not look like it. That is what I'm doing, okay? So just use your corners and be cautious with this area.
Now I am about to shape his hair. So first I'm gonna pick it out and take everything on the, out on the sides. Just pick it out to its full potential. And then I'm gonna take the clippers with the lever closed and shape it to make it go straight up. Okay, as you guys can see, I changed my clippers, okay? I'm getting ready to do some detail work. This is where you really perfect your blend, okay? The blend looks good now, but you can always take it to the next level. You know, change your clippers, get, get another pair of clippers that has a more of a crunch sound. If you didn't use that clipper for the whole cut, and just go in, man. Fix anything that you see, look in the mirror, and uh, yeah, just per try to perfect that fade as much as you can. Right here, I have just some mousse from the hair store. Okay, if you want it, just put in the brand that you see at the top. I don't know if they order or if they ship out, but um, I'm just gonna use this mousse and put it in his hair and use a curler sponge to curl his hair at the top. YouTube, that's the cut. If you like the video, make sure you give it a like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new, subscribe to Baby Kid Calf. I'm out. Deuces.